Once our requirements have been met and the vehicle is out here at the pad and we have done a lot of other closeout activities, we do the WDR, which is a wet dress rehearsal. That's a very big test. It proves that the vehicle is uh, sound. We exercise all the vehicle hardware then. And, and my task in that is usually to monitor from the TSF with our Air Force crew and to make sure that all the systems are operating nominally. Okay, um, a wet dress rehearsal is a, a test we like to refer to as a test like you fly because it's the closest thing to actually a launch countdown. So we use the same scripts, we use the uh, same countdown, um, and the term wet means that we uh, load the vehicle with uh, cryogenic propellants on both first and second stage. All the helium bottles are pressurized to near 4,000 psi. And then uh, we run the countdown all the way down to what we call the terminal count sequence rack, which is at T minus 10, 10 seconds. Okay, attention to the a vehicle readiness status pull will now be held on STR-1. Again, a vehicle readiness status pull for cryotanking will be held on STR-1. Structures mechanical. Thermal. Ground systems. Ground systems. At that well. point, uh, we get a uh, TISSER abort because we make sure that we don't have uh, uh, the data in it that would allow the engines to start. And uh, that allows us to uh, confirm uh, all the ground systems, the vehicle, and then the databases that we use to determine whether all the parameters are in the, in the uh, correct characteristics to have a successful flight. Very good. That completes the readiness for cryotanking. AGO stars out.